Over a year ago, I showed you how to enable widescreen through the dashboard. It was relatively simple and most of you found it useful. However, as useful as it was, the video only addressed those games that already had native widescreen. Like you can see here, with Blood Omen 2, the graphics become stretched in 16 by 9. So in this video, I'll teach you how to enable widescreen even for games that didn't natively support it. My older video is still relevant, and you should still enable widescreen through the dashboard before starting this guide. I'm going to hack my game using a hex editor. It's not difficult and is the most proven way to get results. However, my game is currently in ISO format, which means I can't edit the XB file. So first, I'll need to convert my game to XB format. That's where the CXBox tool comes into play. Run the tool and select ISO Extraction. Then click on Add and find the relevant image file that we want to convert. In this case, it's Blood Omen 2. From here, you can just follow my example. My destination folder will be the desktop. This will make it easy to find. Once the folder is extracted, we can start hacking the game. Run the hex editor and search for the XBE file. Once that's done, we need to find relevant hacks online and I found this website that will make this possible. Go to the Xbox section and then start scrolling down until you find the game that you want to edit. It seems the game has two values that need to change. One is for gameplay and the other is for full motion video. We'll start by changing widescreen for gameplay. So copy the initial value and then head over to the hex editor. Once there, click on search and then replace. Select the hex values tab and paste the text inside the dialog box. Now copy the new value and also paste it inside the dialog box, but this time as a replacement value. Click on replace all and then confirm when prompted. Now we'll repeat everything for full motion video and menus. It works the same way, so I'll just speed it up. Okay, once that's done, close the hex editor and save the file when prompted. You'll see a new file inside the folder. This is just a backup of the original and can be deleted if you want, it doesn't matter. The game is almost ready for Zemu, but first we need to convert it back to ISO format. Fire up the CXBox tool again, but this time select ISO creation. Click on add and search for the XB folder on the desktop. For this demonstration, I'll create the ISO image to the desktop, but you can put it wherever you like. Finally, we can run the modified game and see if the widescreen hack works as it should. And it seems we've been successful. The graphics aren't stretched as it was before. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.